my worst nightmare. He calls me his sweet dream. Perhaps I should take time out here, explain just what I mean. You see, there's not much that my man can do when something's needing doing. If a train rocks or the front door locks, he writes a poem. <laughs> when our gazebo's leaking or when our sinks are grunting, he takes out his little book and writes a lot of words about it. He writes our crumbling bathroom, gives him contentment and ease. It can take him several hours to describe his cold wet knees. He writes our garden, it's a wash with milk and runny honey. And of course this stuff will never ever make us any money. If I have to hear another word, poetic or romantic, please excuse me as I lose it, excuse that I go frantic, excuse me as I face the fact I must finally resign, excuse me as I throw myself at the 8.39. Sister, I replied, you must avoid romantic men. Choose tailor, soldier, welder, the type who prize no pen, or ladle out the treacle, freakle, syrupy, and sloppy, that mills and boom would deselect for being far too soppy. Yes, your bloke would send a rom com maker into dark despair. He made me want to throw a switch on an electric chair. His language is outdated. Well, what's he educated? His metaphors are so decayed, they ought to be cremated. His stuff makes me suspect that Barbara Cartman's resurrected. Even Shelley would be saying this man ought to be dissected. Oh yes, she cried, I cannot lie, I hear a voice of doom. He outsonnets, keeps a Byron to his lacquer and room. He says a thousand princess should be storming all my walls. Not great for this Republican, he scrolls that he adores. But thank you, dear, for your kind ear, though this marriage I am ruining. For there's naught at all my lord can do when something's need doing. My call and my wife's nightmare, he calls me a sweet dream. I've become an illustration of a human screen. Tomorrow is a march in like a soldier of the king. But soon there won't be much of me but for a wedding ring. No, no, I said, though, your marriage bed has become a part of books. You are cold, fit, and bang tidy. You haven't lost your looks. The future's so inviting. See it spreading out before us. Just lose that waste of space up there. Lose him and his before us. <laughs> At last she raised her head and bravely stated it was time to forget all talk of throwing and of the eight thirty nine. She said that she would like to toast the end of all her sorrows and take her first step on the road to all her bright tomorrows. I smiled and heard her order, teach us sweetly alcoholic. And I gently mentioned that her words were well, quite hyperbolic. <laughs> A tear rolled down her pretty cheek and she said, I'll change my mind. I'm going to get up early for the 8.30 line.